the highly anticipated Top Spin 2K Season Pass has finally graced the earth. We're going to be looking at what's inside, looking at the rewards, how to get the rewards, breaking down the trailer that came with it to help you understand what it's about. Let's check it out. Before we get into it, let's talk about what a season pass is. Because I feel like there's some people out there who Top Spin may be the first game they've bought in a while. So, and season pass is quite a new thing. I'm gonna quickly break it down. A season pass is a type of purchase that provides exclusive access to additional content over a certain period of time. It really got popularized by Fortnite. If you're playing a game and earning XP, you'd go from tier one to tier 100 to earn all little new skins, emotes, animations stuff like that and it's kind of become a big staple in the gaming world by one it makes gaming studios money and there's also a reason for players to come back and play the game again and again and again to get to the max level the max tier so what is top spin season pass in the game there'll be six season passes each of them each of them themed around the four grand slam tournaments so season one kicks off with Roland Garros as it's the next big slam in the calendar. Each season will feature 50 tiers of rewards that you can unlock by earning season points or SP. You earn SP for playing matches, competing in a variety of daily and weekly challenges. Let's um, cut some rewards that I found in the trailer. As we can see here, we see the Medvedev forehand animation. I find this a little bit weird because like, if what they've shown here is season one, the Roland Garros, the Roland Garros season. Why is one of the things we can unlock a Medvedev animation? Medvedev is not historically known for as a as a clay court kind of guy. As we know, as he said himself. I know what is hard for them, especially. So I don't really understand why one of the tears is one of the animations we can unlock is Medvedev. He should really include players that are historically good on clay, like Igor Schwantek. Ooh, who else? Alcaraz. Uh, but, but, but I guess they're kind of limited with choice. So, but maybe, but probably these other play animations are included, but um, we just need to unlock them and or they didn't show it in the trailer. So we also see VC and XP boosts, um, clothes and also accessories that we can get, which all look good. Another cool thing is that out of the 50 tiers, 13, 13 of them will be completely free, making accessible for people who haven't got the funds to purchase the full season pass, which, which then gives you in total, oh, 13 times six. 78 stuff for free. But how do you get, how do you buy or get the season pass? You have a lot of options. If you got the money and you pre-order the Mega Grand Slam edition, you can get access to all six season passes. You can also buy each one individually. So you can maybe buy season one, skip out two and three, buy season four, something like that. Or after you buy, say the standard edition, you can then buy the all court pass, the all access pass separately, which gives you all the seasons as well. One feature that I actually really like, which I don't think any game is doing right now. If a new, if a new season starts and you haven't completed the last one, no worries. You can still go back and go and go ahead and go ahead and finish and earn all those rewards. This lets you play the game at, at your own pace, which is a huge plus for players who don't want to feel rushed. So, it's a, so this seems like a pretty, um, what's the word? Um, pioneering, what's the word? Um, pion I guess, yeah, it's, yeah. Pioneering, I guess, yeah, pioneers, the top spin of pioneers. Also another thing while watching the trailer, something I spotted is that we have these six seasons running from when the game drops until next spring, it's all under the umbrella term year one. What that's what that springs to mind is that it's gonna be there's gonna be a year one and them and their seasons, year two and their seasons, which is strange because if the game was coming out every year, why would they call it year one? This hints to me that Top Spin will not be a yearly release and maybe released every, I don't know, two years, three years. Something that we've seen with the with EA's UFC where they've sort of spaced out the releases. It's just something I like to see because it means that it means that game studios aren't sort of pressured and forced to release a game every year. So they get more time to refine game modes, refine graphics and integrate a lot of community feedback to make the game the best it can be. So if I'm right with this, it's really refreshing to see 
um, a game, more more game companies shifting towards sustainable game development. Because if you take a step back and sort of see game studios as this regular workplace, releasing a game every year for 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 the developers and employees in there it would be very very stressful. Like I feel bad for games like NBA 2K, FIFA. And, and, and other titles that have to release every year. That must be pain. <laughs> Fun all that. Nigga racing against the clock, working long hours, she dressed, which takes a toll on 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 a on a developer's well-being and the game's quality, which we don't want. So so yeah, so yeah, it, so yeah, it's really um good to see. This is this is only if we're gonna be seeing another top spin release, because I feel like it's also dependent on how this game does. If it flops and gets bad reviews, then maybe won't be seeing the game again. But if it, you know, blows up, not, no, actually, no, not blows up, but if it's sort of, if it's a solid, then I think we might be seeing the game in pre, in, in future years, in future years, which would be amazing. It'll mean that you'll be seeing me for a lot of years to come, hopefully. So if you're new here, um, wouldn't mind a little subscribe. We're almost at 1,000. I can't believe it, you know. I, I, I've been on this platform for six years. It's taken time, but I feel like we're going to be reaching it. Hopefully, hopefully by the end of the month, we'll see. But it's looking good. So if you're new, um, um, that rounds off the video. I think I've covered everything. Obviously, once again, if I've missed something that you've spotted, put it in the comment section. Let people know. Hope you've enjoyed the video. It was a little quick one just to give you a background about what the season pass is. And um, yeah, man, um, love, peace, prosperity. Um, keep it real. Keep it positive. And we'll chat to you in the near future. Oh, that was, that was one take, you know. I'm impressed. Mm. Mm. We getting better at this shit.